Hey, I'm Chris, and I'm going to quickly show you two ways to create impulse responses for Space Designer or other Convolution Reverb plugins. Let's jump into it, shall we? The first way I'm going to show you is how to create your impulse by capturing the settings from another reverb unit. So if we go into Pro Tools, you can see that I have an audio track here with Dverb as an insert. Make sure that the wet is set to 100% and then dial in all the settings you want to capture. Then we add 25 milliseconds of white noise to the start of the session. You can use different amounts or use a click sound, but I find that 25 milliseconds creates the best impulses for me, so I use that. Right, then we're going to select a range that the reverb will decay in time for. This one decays at 2, 2.5 seconds. So a selection of 3 seconds is good enough for me. Once you've made a selection, bounce it down to an audio file. Go back into Logic and import the impulse by dragging and dropping it onto Space Designer. Now we essentially have the D-verb settings that we captured as a reverb in Logic. So if we bypass that and listen to it dry, and this is it with the reverb we just captured. Pretty cool. Another way is to create your own impulse from scratch using a longer duration of white noise. So we've got a blank audio track here, and what we're going to do is select an area for our reverb due to decay. Then in Pro Tools you're going to have to consolidate the clip so that the white noise in Audio Suite will work. In Audio Suite, click Other and then Signal Generator, and make sure white noise is selected. We're going to set it at minus 1 dB and then render it. Right, so we'll add an EQ plugin. Enable that, enable that, and remove some of the low lows. Then we're going to change the frequency of the mid band to a bit higher and enable automation of the gain. And enable the low pass filter for automation too. We'll then draw in automation for the EQ so that the mid-band gain is all the way down, which sounds like this. Let's make it wider. Do the same for the low pass, but this time only set it to around 600Hz. Cool, so we'll add a fade. And that's our impulse response made. So bounce that down. Head back into Logic and import that. Now we've just created our own impulse response using white noise and filters. So play about with that. And that's two ways to create an impulse response for a Convolution Reverb plugin. That ends my tutorial, I hope you've liked it. My name is Christopher and you can follow me on Twitter at ChrisWinter92. Bye.